So welcome back to the vlog and to the change of scenery I promise. So I'm now in my bedroom at my parents house. Now today I really uh, am a bit sort of all over the place. Uh, yesterday I did some things. I went to see uh, my grandparents. I went into town. I wasn't really doing any sort of personal essay work or looking at my dissertation and considering that or whatever computer based work. So now is the day where I have to think to myself, right, what, what am I doing uh, now I'm back? Um, and as I mentioned, when I'm back, whether I'm back at my parents or whether I'm in Bangor, it's the same sort of thing. It's the only difference is seeing people and stuff. Um, but today I just need to consider, right, what am I continuing to get on with? Um, I'm also seeing a friend later on. Uh, I want to go for a walk as well, sort of mid-afternoon. Uh, I've got some other personal stuff uh, while I'm back here to do. Um, and yeah, just getting a bit more sort of uh, in that frame, uh, frame of mind. Right, I'm back. What do I need to do kind of thing? Um, and then before long, I will be, I'll actually be back to Bangor um, and it will be uh, supervisions for my dissertation, all that sort of stuff. Because as I say, it's only a quick visit, sort of like in and out. Um, and uh, yeah, and then it'll be other stuff. So what I'll do today is I will take you through the day with me. We will see what I get on with, um, if I get some sort of structure and organisation to the day. Um, and uh, and yeah, uh, that will be that and that will be the vlog. So I, I, I as you can tell, I'm a bit sort of like, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do today. I don't, there's a few things, a couple of things throughout the day that are more like, oh yeah, I'm definitely doing that. But um, yeah, so uh, we will just see what, what happens as things unfold. I might take you um, into the shed or something like that today, because obviously you've not seen that area for quite a while um and uh and that might actually be quite nice actually uh to to do that um but yeah uh, we will we will do the next segment and we will see where we are so i've just been doing some sorting of some clothes and things like that in my room uh i'm going out to the shed and you can have a look at it it's very sparse in there actually um you'll remember well actually you can see on old videos as well because uh, they're all still up, uh, how uh, full it was and just, you know, so much stock in there, so many things in there. Um, it is shockingly bare, actually, um, these days. So I'll let you have a look at it um, and you can you can see the difference. So here is the shed. As you can see, there uh, is a lot gone, probably since you last saw it. This has just kind of happened over the course of uh, my undergrad. Um, things were kind of taken out of here. Uh, things were rearranged, everything. Some kind of with my involvement and then some things just kind of happened and I turned up back here and certain things were gone and stuff like that. Uh, certain parts of the racking were gone and, and don't ask me how that's happened or why that's happened or anything like that um although at the time i think they were um empty anyway there wasn't any any stock on them or anything like that um but yeah so basically that there if i just remove this this is my old doctor who cardboard cut out and my tom baker scarf um that is basically my stock there are really not not even that bit not that that's kind of like uh stuff for in summer just like croquet and stuff but just like this here that that is basically my stock um which is crazy i've got some lego at the back in the boxes there um but other than that uh that that is literally my reselling basically um as as i said i've got lego at the back here so i'll show you some of this uh it's not all in here there's there's bits of it in here um but yeah so uh, that is it. It's weird to see it like this, to be honest. It's been, and it's been really sad. It's a mixture of sad and just kind of odd as well to to see the shed just slowly come down to this state. Now, it might not be like this uh, 
you know, for years to come or anything. It could be, it will, well, it will be very different. Look at that, I've only just noticed that. There's some sort of ivy or holly or something growing through. That's incredible. I bet you that's symbolic of something psychologically, but anyway, we won't read into that too much. I mean, people, if someone sees this like in long in the future after I'm dead, if you want to read into that, you know, you can do. Um, so anyway, yeah, so I don't know, that must be car boot table or something. I can't. Now, I think my mum and dad said like yesterday or something that I think I might have some stuff for the car boot, but it's in the garage. And I don't know whether that's stock or not, so I'm going to have to have a look through that to see what's going on with with this stuff. Because I don't know, maybe there's some stuff in there that either, yeah, it could probably go for a car boot, or maybe it could be some stuff to, to sell on eBay. Um, but it is crazy to think that is just it. When, I mean, obviously you've seen the videos, if you're, if you're regulars of the channel you'll know how full this room was and how much stuff I, I had on eBay. And uh, it's, uh, yeah, really, really weird. But the main sort of display thing, that's basically stayed the same. Uh, although originally, of course, you'll remember that my packing table was here. That was really nice when it was here, actually. I think I had it, I think it had about three different layouts over the time. It was like, I think maybe one was over there originally or something. Then it was over there because of the light. Um, and then there was this setup when maybe I was starting to slow down things slightly. Can't remember exactly, but yeah, so that is the shed anyway. You have seen it, and uh, I'm gonna get out for my walk now. It's an interesting point to note actually that you can see here. It's all flat because we're in Cheshire. And that's the difference between here and, and when we're in Bangor. Uh, in Bangor, you know, you've got all these massive hills and mountains and stuff like that. And uh, it, it's a really interesting distinction actually when I'm, between when I'm there and then when I'm here. So we're around the uh, farm ways now. Uh, there's a farm just up here. I decided to do a segment here because uh, if I do one down there, the dogs will start barking. These have a load of dogs here, so uh, I probably wouldn't be able to do a segment, but maybe when we get a bit further down as well. Uh, but it's nice down here. It's nice and quiet. Um, there's not usually too many cars and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you can hear the birds and everything again, but there's a different feeling here compared to at Bangor with, the, um, with nature. Although it's still nature, it's it's the same thing. You know, at Bangor you have nature, here you have nature, the woods and the birds, the trees, all the, you know, all these grasses and everything. But it feels fundamentally different. There's a different feeling. And um, it is odd how that happens, but yeah. I don't know what these are. Are these bulls or cows? I think the bulls. Yo. Chill, aren't they? Oh. Yeah. This is a nice little walkway. I like going down here. Nice little route. Those stretches down there. A lot of planes, though. Didn't realize there's so many planes over this way. One of my favourite meals to do. Um, got one of those little omelette things, some avocado, some olives, tomato, and I made the addition of uh, having a sausage roll as well. As you can see, it's uh, already half eaten. So um, I, I love this meal. It's, it's so lovely. So I've just been going through online and looking for some of the dissertation books that I basically need to get on with reading and obviously need to kind of, of generate some ideas from those books. Uh, I can't really find that many of them online as sort of free access on the Open Library or, or Bangor Library website, things like that, or even just on Google. Uh, sometimes you can find like a PhD, a PhD, P PDF of 
um, like books or short stories and things like that. Um, so uh, I have gone ahead and bought a few books and I don't normally do that because I do try and just look online, try and get the access that way. So it basically just saves money. But also I thought because I'm going to be using these um, fairly regularly and quite intimately uh, for my dissertation or kind of for just influence, inspiration and, and of course references as well. I thought, you know what, I'll go ahead and buy a few of them. Um, and I do generally like, if I can, uh, to read a physical copy. Uh, I I used to like reading online, but these days it... I don't know, it's more difficult for some reason. Um, but yeah, so I've got those anyway. So they'll be coming. I, obviously, I've not ordered them to, to this house, but to my uh, flat. So uh, they'll be, supposedly, they'll be arriving on Saturday. It's Wednesday today, so that's not too long. And the ones or the little bits that I can find online, um, you know, a short story here as a PDF and stuff, um, I will read those over the next few days. Uh, so I'm still, I can still get on with sort of uh, getting some inspiration from these things and, and reading some bits and bobs. Um, so yeah, that's good. So I, I need to do that. The other thing is as well, um, I have been thinking the last couple of days about that Fiverr listing and wanting to just go over that very briefly, make sure everything's good, everything's cool, and then literally publish it and, and get that sorted. Um I know, I am a little bit worried that if I do publish it and then, like, I do, if it is possible that I get sales reasonably quickly or I get one sale or something reasonably quickly, which I, I really don't know. I don't know whether it's going to be, like, you know, you publish the listing, it's live, and then a day or two later you might get your first sale or whether it might be weeks until you get your first sale. I'm not sure, but um, I am kind of considering, right, like, when is the best time to publish that listing so that then if i do get a sale uh, a day or two after i'm not in the thick of it with doing dissertation stuff or anything like that um, and i think to be honest right now it's a reasonable time to publish that listing because i've not got my supervision meeting arranged yet or anything like that so i've and although i do need to do dissertation reading i've got a little bit of time where i can I basically like test it out so I you know if I get a sale then I can be like oh right, okay great I've got this sale uh I'm gonna obviously write this poem for this person and and see how that works and and then just uh, and and get that off and fulfill the order and stuff and then because I've not got everything going at once like I've got other things to do um it'll mean that I can focus a bit more on that order, understand like the process of Fiverr a bit more and uh, and then move from there basically. And once I've got some idea of the sales process and things, then I'll be all right because I'll be in the flow of doing it anyway. And even if I've got other things to do in the future, I'll, I'll have got some sort of process down with that. Um, so, so that won't be too bad, but it's just sort of starting off the process and, and, uh, making sure I'm uh, I'm attending to it and, and I've got time to do that and I've got time to work out what I'm doing completely. But anyway, I will leave it segment here. I will see you in a little bit. Um, my mum and dad should be around in a little bit as well. So um, I may very well do a little segment with, with them too in the vlog. Um, so yeah, see you in a little bit. Hello. Hi everyone. <laughs> as soon as Hi. I... As soon as I start it, a train goes past as well. That was, that was perfect timing. We've just been discussing the Greek islands and where to go on holiday this year. Adam seems to be infatuated and obsessed with the Greek islands. No, I don't know. I think no. it's something to do with history. No, you're, you're obsessed with the Greek islands. I said that it'd be interesting to go Naxos. 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 Yeah, sounds good. See, I'm going to do what you do now and, and you're going to get recorded. Hello. There you go. Say hi for the vlog. Hello vlog. Are you okay? Are you okay? Adam's got a very jazzy shirt on that I've never seen before. Oh yeah, the vlog, the, the vlog already knows about that, definitely. Has it? Most it's... definitely. Wow. They know about my shirts and my yeah, uh, it's like, crazy um, fashion sense. 
It's like crocodile. What did your dad say when he saw that? I don't, oh no, you've not seen it, have you? That's why it's you just reacting to me yes, straight away now. Oh, well, I didn't realise, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, it is pretty crazy, yeah. Wow, um, it's crocodile. When did you get that one? Uh, just after my birthday. Oh. So you wouldn't have seen it. No. Yeah. With your birthday money? Is this yes. what I give you your money for? What, shirts, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Right. Uh. I see, very good. What else has been happening today? Isn't it exciting? Not a lot, just... No. Random stuff. Has your dad been on camera? Yes, he's been on camera. Oh dear. How did you go on? So, I've just had tea and I'll soon be going out to meet my friend. I think what I'll do is kind of wrap up the vlog here um, because it'll be a little bit later when I get back and uh, there won't probably won't be much point in doing another segment. Um, the next time you will see me will either be on travelling day because I do quite like the idea of getting a few shots out the train, you know, while the train's moving. Uh, or it will be the day after. Um, and uh, I really want to get back as well. I need to be hitting this dissertation reading, uh, getting some of that done. Uh, and then next week I will be getting my, or should be at least, um, getting my first super, uh, first meeting with my supervisor. I'll also be getting told who my supervisor is because I still don't know that yet. Um, although what might happen is that we get told our supervisors next week, but we don't have a meeting with them till the following week. Now, that would be a little bit annoying um, because I, I kind of do want to get that meeting and, uh, and that'll give me a bit more direction as well with, with just sort of cementing the, the very start of my dissertation. Um, I might get a few more ideas for books that might be good to read and stuff like that so um yeah but you know we're we're moving forward we're still moving forward into a new sort of territory um it's going to be interesting to explore and and really i do need to at this point start getting uh maybe even doing a bit of writing for my dissertation actually starting writing one of these short stories and seeing where i take it and uh, that might be quite good, but I think still I'm going to leave that until I get back to Bangor. I, I don't need to do it today or tomorrow or anything like that. So, um, yeah, but we'll see how that pans out. And hopefully the short stories do kind of just flow out of me and they're quite easy. Um, because I do have a, probably a fair few sh short stories to write. Um, depends on the length, of course, but certainly between five and ten. So, um, yeah, I'll have to keep going with it and, and start it and then keep going with it and hope that things sort of get drawn out of me. Um, I've also, interestingly enough, just to close out this vlog, um, so it's not too long far off the time I'd normally be having my coffee. And uh, basically, I've not been having a full coffee or I'm not going to be having a full coffee for a while um, because... I'm starting to feel a bit bloated with the coffee, so uh, I'm trying to have an espresso rather than a full coffee uh, and see if that kind of brings that down a little bit. It might be because of the time of day that I'm having the coffee, I'm not sure, uh, but yeah. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this vlog here and I will see you in a few days, so see you very soon. Mm -hmm.